Okay, so here's the newest little addition. This is Carly. Carly is a Selvini. And I think there's quite a bit of debate as to whether this little one is male or female. I am personally going to go with female, sorry Jack, just because I've given her a very girly name. So if it turns out that Carly is a dude, then well, sorry dude. But while it is kind of hard to see, because she gets quite a bit of blue sparkles on the dorsal spine, if I come around and look at her from the front, you can see that she does have the black all along the dorsal there. And if she behaves herself for two seconds and actually shows me her side, she is starting to get some red coming through on your, just below the lateral line. She just looks like little red spots at the moment. But yeah, she has done a pretty good job of coming out of her shell lately. Um, I mean, she's still quite shy and stuff. Salvinis have a reputation for being a bit shy, but as far as shy fish are concerned, she's certainly come quite a long way. Um, she's become Storman's little buddy, to be completely honest. She tolerates me, but that's really about the extent of it. Um, she's been making poor mittens go on a bit of a rampage lately because she'll just hang out at this end of the tank and she'll just stare at him with her dorsal spines up looking very interested which will make him do this weird thing where he wiggles and he throws sand around and it's all very strange but oh well it keeps him busy and hopefully out of trouble um, Carly's in quite an oversized tank for her size she's between five and six inches long which is absolutely quite big for a salad. You can see she's really fat too. But she's in a 4 foot 55 gallon tank. Or is this one 50 gallon? I think it's 55. But it's got like the standard 4 foot footprint anyway. Um, and yeah, the chances of her getting any tank mates are pretty much nil. I've been chatting to Rob a bit about cells and he sort of told me about one that was able to pretty much tear the stomach out of a poor pleco. So... I was thinking of getting something like that to put in with her, but now I'm really kind of having second thoughts, especially if you can see those lovely teeth that she's got coming in. But no, she's doing really well. She's settled in well. We had her in um, sort of quarantine for the first few weeks that we had her where we just used like a separate siphon for doing water changes and made sure that we used hand sanitizer after we did anything with her tank and that just to just in case, you know, we did get her on Gumtree and you never know what, you know, rehomed fish might have. But no, she's settled in without any fuss really, like everything's been normal, got no signs of illness, she loves food, outgoing, you know, a bit shy but very outgoing for a fish that's got the reputation for being shy. So, yeah, I've made this little driftwood house thing for her. And you can see she's made quite a effort to clear out all the sand and make it to her liking and she'll hide in there whenever she gets scared but she usually just pops in for a second or two and then pops back out. Um, the only thing that's a bit of a pain is that it does release quite a lot of you know tannins into the water which would be great if she was a you know if she was the sev or the osaga but that's not a big deal by any means, certainly isn't going to do her any harm. But yeah, she's doing well. But she's always hungry. Like, always. Like, I'm to the point that I'm actually worried that we might be <laughs> underfeeding her a little bit, even though, really, she shouldn't really grow much more than what she is now. So, yeah, that's about it. That's the update on little Carly.